Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Just wanted to give you a quick update of the citrus that I was showing y'all last week when I sprayed it with the neem oil. That's all you need. You don't have to go buy a whole bunch of expensive uh, herbicides and all of that stuff. Any, it's bad for you anyway. It's bad for the fruit. It's bad for you. It's bad for the environment. So all you need is a little bit of neem oil and I'm going to give you the results on how that worked out for me. Remember I had the big <laughs> backpack sprayer on my back? I got an update on that too. Okay, but here's the update on the scale and the millibug. I mean, the, yeah. I hate them things. I hate them. Now, this is what you want to look for, okay? All right, we're going to get right back into where we was. Now, I'm going to show you. You see this? It looked like water, a drop of water. That's not water. That's the honeydew that they drip out. See that? It's gooey. Stick to my finger. Watch this. It's gooey. That's what the ants eat. Because it's, it's supposedly sweet, but I'm not going to taste it to find out. Anyway, the mealybug used to be right there. See that? Where it used to be? That's where it was sitting and just pooping and dripping its sweet poop down on that, <laughs> on that leaf right there. Okay, let's get into the results. Now, this is how you know whether your stuff is working or not. I'm going to show you a live mealybug, and I'm going to show you a dead one. Here's a live one. I'm going to show you the difference. See that? This is what you want to look out for. Let me, let me focus. Let me get in there. It's soft. See, it's kind of soft. No, that's dead. That's dead, too. Yeah, that's hard. Because you kind of look for how soft they are and the color. See how those is more orange? That orange is tinge on it's supposed to be like a reddish orange and white. But the back, that part is always, always solid white. And when you touch them, they kind of hard. Those are dead. See that? I don't have to put no pressure on them for them to fall off. They dead. So that right there is what you want to look for to make sure they gone. And ain't no juices coming out of them or nothing. The neem oil did his, did his job. See that? They tried to hold on, but they couldn't. I'm looking for a live one. See if it's one I missed. No, that's dead too. That's hard and dead. Uh, that one look alive, but nope. He dead too. Because they usually have that sweet honeydew, a drop of it right on their back. But it's none. Everything looks, everything is dead. So I can't even show you the difference. I wanted to show you the difference, but it did take care of everything. Yeah, that one is finished. So if you tear them apart like that, that orange gooey usually comes out, but nope, all dead. So anyway, that's the mealy bug. It took care of all the mealy bug problem. I looked all around the tree and that's the only mealy bug population I could find. So the neem oil worked. Now with the scale, the scale, once you, once you hit it with your water hose and then spray it with neem oil, it, trust me, it, it looks a lot better than this I'm about to show you. But I can tell the difference. Just tr trust and believe this. It's more dry and more brown looking. This is just what's left over. See how it's really not sticking to my nail this time? It's just flicking off. They dead. When they alive, they all pile up on your nail because they still they still alive. But that neem oil, let me see if you can see it just all go. See how they just flicking off? Cause it's all dried up. And watch this. It's dead. So what I'm gonna do now is take my uh, see that? This is my Eureka lemon. See that crack right there? That's cause Eureka lemons don't take cold at all. And I left it out here up under this uh, little microclimate that I made with all the citrus. So it did take a big beating, but it did it. So uh, that's good. And it got a lot of new growth coming out. So I'm going to clean this tree up and I'm going to 
I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to clean this tree up, and I'm going to show you guys how good it's going to look in maybe a, a month or two, okay? But as you can see, that neem oil is all you need. That's it. So, trust and believe that worked. I got new growth and new fruiting buds on all my citrus right now. Right here, here's uh, the Brown Select Satsuma. It's so, it's so many buds. Let me get in here. It's so many doggone fruiting buds in here. I just can't wait. See all of that? And it's all over the tree. It's all over on every single tree. I got fruit buds. I know it look all tangled up to you, but I know which tree is which, and I'm about to separate everything. As soon as this cold snap disappears, I'm going to separate everything. But I, Because I got fruit. I got fruit everywhere. The more fruit buds, the more flower, flowers and buds, the more chances you're going to have to have a nice big harvest. I even got, ah, ha, I see a mealy bug. I'm going to show you a live mealy bug. Because I didn't spray these and show you exactly what I was talking about. Now look. Can you see? Let me see. Let's do it like this. You see that honeydew? Them honeydew drops coming off their back? Move these leaves. It ain't like they're going to fly away or something. But you see those little drops? Look like water? That's that honeydew. So those are alive. So I'm gonna deal with that in a minute. I didn't spray that, that part of the tree. So I'm gonna come back and deal with that. But I'm gonna have a little problem. Uh, that problem is I took that sprayer back. That backpack sprayer. Everybody like, wait a minute, Led, you were just telling us we need to go get a backpack sprayer. Wait a minute. You do. If you got a lot of trees like me, you do need to get a backpack sprayer. Now, here's the difference. This is why, and I, that's where I'm coming from right now, taking it back. You want to know why I took it back? Because it was expensive. And I'm in uh, uh, Harbor Freight. <laughs> I'm in Harbor Freight the other day. And what did I find? Same damn backpack sprayer. Well, not the same brand, because I don't care about the brand. Not the brand, but four and four and a half, five gallon backpack sprayer built exactly like the one I got for twenty twenty nine dollars. And after that dog on coupon I got, it's gonna be like twenty four bucks. Are you crazy? I'd be saving like fifty dollars. So, nah. I took that back today. I wrapped that sucker up, washed it out, everything. Took that sucker back and took it to the store and told them exactly the truth. Look, man, I'm not paying that for that. Put that money back on my card. You must be crazy. So, Harbor Freight got the same backpack sprayer, four and a half. I think it's four gallon, four, four to five gallon, whatever it is. Same function, $25. Even if it broke and I had to go buy another one. That's only 50 bucks. And they'll, they'll probably, you know, take that back. So, just to let y'all know. Nah. So, I had to, I went back, got my neem oil in my little uh, reuse, re remember, recycle. This is good for stuff too. After you done using your little Febreze or whatever other stuff you got laying around the house, don't throw the bottle away. If you don't recycle it, like in a can recycler, recycle it like this. Now let's get that mealy bug. Where they at? Where you at, sucker? There they go. Eat that. Eat that and poop it out. See what happened to you. There you go. So, and you can see, look, I got fruit buds all up in there too. I gotta get the mealy bugs out of here. Because they'll drink all of the sweet nutrients out of your tree and the fruit that's up there and the fruit that they get plump and then just fall off. It'll make you so mad. Get rid of your mealy bugs. So just a little quick. Well, this ain't quick. 
this is a good update because I wanted to show y'all. Might as well make it 10 minutes. Why not? I'm I'm nine in now. Ten in. Look at this. Look at all this fruit buzz that I didn't talk about before. Now this is this is Lillian. The big one on the side of the house, my big Meyer lemon. I showed y'all all of those up there. This branch was never ex this branch been exposed to the cold ice and winds and rain all winter on that brick wall. Somebody asked me what side of the house is this uh, tree on? It's on the south facing side of my house. So the sun comes up and stays on this side all day and it goes down right through those trees all through the winter. In the winter, it go over right there. Summer, straight up and down. So all year round, I got full sun down this side of my house. Now, check it out. I showed y'all up there. Y'all seen all the fruit buds down here with the mealy bugs. Little creepy bastards. All the fruit buds. But now, this whole tree is about to be loaded. You see those in there? Up high. All up under there. See that? Every branch. Every single branch is loaded with fruit buds. Every single branch. So this whole big tree is nothing special about Lillian. She just a uh, dwarf Meyer lemon. And as you can see, she is clearly 15 feet tall. Every single branch. Every branch, y'all. I could do that all day. So, that's, that's going to be a hell of a lot of lemons. So, this is what I wanted to let y'all know. I got all these fruit buds. My tree made it through the winter. This is like its second or third year in the ground. I want to say second year in the ground. Second year, third season in the ground. All I put on this tree is food out of food scraps out of my kitchen. No fertilizers, no synthetics, nothing. Nothing. And that's what I got. All you gotta do is just keep on keeping your tree healthy. Feed your tree with scraps around your house, coffee grains, eggshells, banana peels, old uh, lettuce you didn't eat, old scraps, not meat, but you know, old fruits, vegetables, all that crap you saw me throw in there, old tea bags. I throw the tea and the bag, the coffee and the filter. Uh, Sometimes we, you know, you use a napkin, throw that in the bucket too. That's, that's gonna turn over, that's gonna recycle. That's what I use. So for all the people to keep asking, um, what exactly do I use? That's it. And this is what I get. That's what I get, y'all. Blooms on everything. You know all of these trees is young. I got a couple of old trees. But for the most part, they all young. You don't got to keep spending all that money on all that garbage. You don't. So, this year, I got blooms. I may not get fruit. I'm not counting my chickens for the hatch. But I got blooms on every single tree on this land even through the cold and y'all saw me and the people that's Whew. he gonna get some potatoes around his ass but y'all don't see me a lot of y'all been to my house and you know what I use and you know what I do it works be patient cause it ain't gonna happen overnight but it works. Lair Farmer 73, I love you. And I'm out. Enjoy your day. <laughs>